Hi, my name is Ilma and uh, welcome to my channel. I've been posting uh, blogs for the Lord for quite a while now. And today I'd like to share 1 Peter 4 verses 1 to 6. And here's the word of God. Therefore, since Christ has suffered in the flesh, arm yourselves also with the same purpose, because the one who has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin, so as to live the rest of the time in the flesh no longer for human lusts, but for the will of God. For the time already past is sufficient for you to have carried out the desires of the Gentiles, having pursued a course of indecent behavior, lusts, drunkenness, carousing, drinking parties, and wanton idolatries. In all this, they are surprised that you do not run with them in the same excesses of debauchery, and they slander you. But they will give an account to him who is ready to judge the living and the dead. For the gospel has for this purpose been preached even to those who are dead, that though they are judged in the flesh as people, they may live in the spirit according to the will of God. First Peter 4, 1-6 Here's my blog. Die to your flesh and live for God's will. In this letter, Peter emphasizes the importance of suffering or dying to the flesh. Because Jesus has set the example for being able to live in the Spirit by believing in Him, we have hope that we can overcome human lusts and live for the, God's will. Peter addresses the Gentiles who cater to their cravings, and in verse 3, he identifies some of the manifestations of living in the flesh, such as 1. Indecent behavior. Biblehub.com defines this as behavior unfit to be seen or heard, offensive to modesty and delicacy as indecent language. The second is lusts. Baker's Evangelical Dictionary says that it is a strong craving or desire, often of a sexual nature. The word is never used in a positive context. Rather, it is always seen, seen in a negative light, relating primarily either to a strong desire for sexual immorality or idolatrous worship. The third is drunkenness. Paul identifies drunkenness as sin and results from fleshly desires. And the fourth is carousing. BibleTools.com defines it as indulging in one's appetites excessively. It could be food or drink or many other things. Number five, drinking parties to be involved in heavy drinking, which may lead to other sins. Number six is wanton idolatries. It is the act of worshiping an image or a created object freely. Now, Peter admonishes all believers to never indulge in these fruits of the flesh, but rather die to them and live following God's will. He warns them that they will be held accountable for the sins they commit against the Lord. Reflection. Why is it so hard to die to our desires and cravings instead of obeying God's will? We're humans, and uh, because of the sin of Adam and Eve, we have been, uh, we, have, we have inherited that sinful nature that wants to cater to the flesh all the time. So, the only way, and, and, and God knows that we will never be able to do this on our own, so He gave His only begotten Son so that we, we will be able to live in the Spirit instead of living in the flesh. And uh, because of Christ, we will be able to, um, instead of uh, craving for things that are physical, we will learn to obey the will of God, which is spiritual. So I encourage you to make sure that all these uh, cravings, which are the fruits of the flesh, 
that you are not indulging in it if you are a believer because if you are we have a serious problem because um, Paul uh, Peter says here that uh, you cannot serve you cannot uh, claim that you are a believer and still be doing all these things um, and sadly there are so many um, believers who probably do not get a big grasp or understanding of the different kinds of sins that are the fruits of the flesh. And so it, we, we cannot live and serve two masters. We could either serve God or we could serve the world. So uh, a Christian, a true believer, will not be indulging in d indecent behavior or lustful things or drunkenness, carousing, drinking parties, and wanton idolatries because they're, they're, they live for doing God's will and they don't live for doing their own will. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaars.com for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this blog. And I hope you subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I can make more videos for the Lord. God loves you so much. And stay living for God's will.